Hey, I'm Steve Kranz for Guitar Gathering. Thank you for joining us on this quick workout. On sixth, we've been talking about how to play sixths on guitar. <laughs> Just that wonderful sound that we can hear so commonly in guitar playing. So I've given you the forms. There's in the PDF that you can download. It's in the YouTube description down below. So if you have that PDF, go ahead and grab your guitar and let's go through these. Now I've given you basically four different ways that you can play sixths on guitar. Of course there's others, but these are kind of the main ones. And they go on string sets. So we're going to go with the first one, form one on the lowest string sets first. So it starts off, we're gonna use strings, the sixth string and the fourth string. So we're gonna start off by playing an E scale on the fourth string. So if you can, put your first finger, second finger, I don't care, probably first, let's do your first. And we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is play an E scale on the fourth string, just going straight up the neck. So you're not allowed to use any other string. We're just gonna go straight up and down the neck, an E major scale. So we've got an E, you play it with me, then up two frets, we've got an F sharp. Up two frets, we've got a G sharp. Up one fret, we've got an A. Up two frets is a B. Up two frets is a C sharp. Up two more frets, at the 13th fret there's a D sharp. And then at the 14th fret we have an E. All right, let's do that one more time. Go back here, down here to the second fret. This is also, also a great exercise to really solidify your knowledge of the notes on the neck, this upper, this dusty part of the neck up here. All right, so let's start on this E. Say them and play them, it's a good way to do it. E. Two frets up from that at the fourth fret is an F sharp, then a G sharp, two frets up. One fret up is an A, two frets up from that is a B, two frets up from that is a C sharp, D sharp, two frets up, and then an E at the 14th fret. All right, go back down here to the second fret. Now we're gonna add the sixth beneath it. So we end up with a low G sharp on that sixth string. So you're gonna still play the E with your first finger, but now your third finger is gonna come over here on the sixth string at the fourth fret, and we're gonna catch that G sharp. Remember, sixth and thirds are just the same thing flipped. So an E up to a G sharp would be a third, but an E with a G sharp beneath it is a sixth. So this is also in the diagram on page two showing you which shapes to use. So this is going to be the first shape we're going to use, this one and then this third finger over here. So if we scoot that up to the next one, our first finger moves up two frets to the F sharp, the fourth fret, second finger moves to the sixth string at the fifth fret. So that's our second shape. So we're only using two shapes, this one with the first and third finger, this one with the first and second finger. Move that exact shape up two frets, now go back to the first shape, go up one fret, move it to the first shape. Move that up two frets. Go back to that second one and two shape, up two frets. Then another up two frets. And then we're back to the one and three shape, way up here in the stratosphere. Got an E and a G sharp. Let's do that again. Come back down here to the second fret. We have this shape with the first and third finger. We've got this shape with the first and second finger. So let's start with the first and third finger at the E. Up two frets and go to the second shape. Up two frets and stay at the same shape. Up one fret and give the first shape again. Up two frets, same shape. Then back to the first and second finger shape, up two frets. Up two frets, same shape. And then back to one and three, up one fret. Hey, can you go back down? Two and one. Back to three and one. Oh, sorry, two and one. Then three and one. Down two frets, three and one. Down one fret, two and one. Down one fret, two and one, or two frets, two and one. And one fret, or two frets, down to one and three. There it is, up and down. See if you can play it up and down with me. Ready? Go. Do it again. Next one. 
next one, next one, and, 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 last one, back, down, and, down, other shape. Now if this is going too fast, remember you can always come back and slow down that YouTube video. We did an E scale. This is sixth in E. Now, what if we wanted to do that, let's say, in F, in the key of F? Well, everything would be up just a half step. So there's our F. So let's do our F scale. F, up two frets. G, up two frets. One fret for the B flat. And the whole step, two frets. Whole step, two frets. Another whole step, two frets. One fret to the F. All right, let's go back down here. Let's do the six now. First and third finger. Okay, now first and second. Up two frets, first and second. Up one fret, first and third. Up two frets, first and third. Up one fret, or two frets, two and one. Two frets, two and one. Way up here in the stratosphere, three and one. Can you go back down? get frustrated if you can't do it. We have a tendency to give up way too easily when we're trying to learn things. There you go. All right, so that's an E. We did an F. What if, what if we wanted to do it in G? Well, we have to think, where's a G? And I've got to have my first finger on the fourth, fing fourth string is going to be where that... So there's a G with my first finger on the fourth string. Starts with three and one. All right, now we're gonna do it in G. Three and one, two and one, two and one, three and one, three and one, two and one. Now, it's getting a little too high, so I'm gonna jump this down to where I'm, I just lowered an octave, so instead of being way up here, I did it way down here, and then I ended up back where I'm from. All right, so now I'm gonna go back down. Back two and one, two and one. Now here, I can't do that, I get off the neck, so I've gotta go back up, three and one. Now I'm at the 12th fret, or the 10th fret, three and one, two and one, two and one, three and one. So as I would be practicing that, I would do those up and down the scale. Maybe do them in thirds. Maybe, you know, start high and then go low is another way to do it. You're just trying to get that pattern down, okay? Now, that's great. Now we're going to keep that same pattern and we're going to put it onto the third string. Uses the exact same pattern. So look at, this would be form two. So we've got a little graphic for form two that we're going to try and put up there and you can we're going to do start with an A scale. So we're going to start with our third finger, or excuse me, our first finger on the third string at the second fret. Okay? And we're, let's do the scale first. So we're just going to go up and down the scale, just like we did before. And then up two frets, up two frets, up one fret, two frets, two frets, two frets, one fret. Go back down. One fret, two frets, two frets, two frets, one fret, two frets, two frets. Now we're going to add that third finger on the fifth string. So notice how we always have a string in between. So now our sixth are going to be not on the fourth string and the sixth string, but the fifth string and the third string. But it's the same shape. It's the same shape. All right, so here we go. We've got one and three, and then go up two frets and do one and two. Two frets and do one and two. One fret and do one and three. One fret, do one and three. Two frets and do one and two. Two frets and do one and two. 
one fret and two, one and three. It's the same shape, exactly the same pattern that we just did. Okay, so let's go back down. Bend down one, two, and one. Down two, two, and one. Down two, three, and one. Down two, three, and one. Down one, two, and one. Down two, two, and one. All right, so we're gonna keep that graphic up on the screen. We're gonna go right up and down. Here we go, ready, and one. Next one, next one, next one. Come on, this is the working out of the, the patterns. It's not just knowing, you know, understanding the concept. Let's go back down. It's actually, you have to spend some time getting them underneath your fingers. Now, let's say we were, that's in the key of A. Let's say we wanted to do it in the key of B flat. Where would you need to go? We're gonna go up a half step to the B flat. Okay, so we're gonna do the same pattern we just did. Three and one, two and one, two and one, three and one, three and one, two and one, two and one, Three and one, way up here in the stratosphere. Let's go back down. Come on. Sorry. Had to think for a second what key I'm in. We're in the key of B flat. All right, now we're gonna go up to the key of C. So where, where, remember my root is on that third string, so I have to put my first finger on the C on the third string. And that's here at the fifth fret. All right, so three and one. Here we go. Let's go up and down. Three and one. Two and one. Two and one. Three and one. Three and one. Hey, let's let's jump down. Two and one. Two and one. Three and one. See, eventually you're gonna have to start flipping to get to to as we get through different keys. So here's three and one. Let's go back down. Two and one. Two and one. Then we jump up here, two and one, three and one, three and one, sorry, two and one, two and one. You can even keep going down. Those are great, I mean. That was, I was in the key of E there, and I did, started out with a B and a G sharp, C sharp and an A, D and a B, just the same thing, six, just like we were doing. And you have an E in the low, in the bass of all of it. Might as well learn a good lick there. You can impress your friends at parties. There you go. All right. <clears throat> so that's the first form. <clears throat> it works on the lower strings, the sixth and fourth string combination and the fifth and third string combination. All right. So let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next um, form. So this would be the form two. And we're going to do this on the fourth and the second string. So we're on the second string. And so let's do the C scale up on the second string. So this would be, uh, we've got a graphic for this. This is gonna be the C scale. So let's go up just the scale first. First finger, two frets up, then two frets up, one fret up, two frets, two frets, two frets, one fret. Back down, one fret, two frets, Two frets, two frets, one fret, two frets, two frets. Now let's add the sixth. All right, so this is a different shape. We've got this shape, first and second finger, and then we're also going to be using a second finger, third finger combination. So second finger is always going to be on the lower string. Those are 
are the only two shapes we'll be using in this form. Okay, but it starts with this two and one. And then we go up to the next one, two and three. And then we scoot that up two frets, two and three. And then we scoot it up one fret, two and one, up two frets, two and one, up one fret, two and three, up two frets, two and three, up one fret, two and one. Okay, let's go back down, two and one, then two and three, down two frets, two and one, down two frets, two and one, or two and three, two and three, two and one. Do it one more time, do it again, ready, go. You're doing great. Or two and three, two and three, two and one. Back down and I know it seems a little complicated at first, but once you get them, man, these are just some of the most helpful intervals that you're going to be using in guitar playing. interval that you're going to use all the time. Okay, so we've done it in C. Let's do it in, oh, I don't know, let's do it in D. Okay, so if I had to do it in D, I have to put my first finger on the second string at the third fret now. So this is our D. So, all right, so let's work our way up in third, or in uh, six there. Now two and three, two and three, two and one, two and one, two and three, two and three, Two and one. Okay, work our way back down. Get this mic out of the way so you can see that better. Okay. Hey, just for fun, let's just do this just a little bit. Let's do it in thirds. So we're gonna go. jumping that in thirds. So let's start again. D, up to the F sharp, down one, up to the G, F sharp, up to the A, down to the G, up to the B, way down as well. Hey, what if we offset them a little bit? So if we're going to, instead of playing them both together, we're going to go play the lower note first and then the upper one. Think, focus on the pattern. The pattern is the main thing. Hey, let's reverse it. Now let's do the higher note first. If we mixed it up and we went low and then high, switch the next form and go high low. Switch the next form and go low high. There you go. Okay, so we've done it in C. In fact, let's go back and see. I'll show you one more trick. You can do it. Let's go back to C. Let's add a G, the open G on the third string between them. So it kind of makes a chord. Go up to the next one. Just keep that open G in between them all. Just kind of gives us some chords on your way up. Let's keep that open G in it and go down. C scale. A 
Let's do the outside ones and then the open G. I'm just doing the interval and then the open G in between them. So there's all kinds of little activities, little games that you can play with yourself to learn these shapes. All right, let's go to the last one. This is the same form that we did that we've just been doing on the second string, we're just going to transpose it and we're going to be now doing it on the third and the first string. Same shape, same shape. So with all of these, you really only need to learn two different forms. The one for the lower strings and the one for the upper strings. Once you got that, then it's just a matter of finding the notes on the neck and jumping around. It's a great exercise to help you find those notes and identify what the notes are in this upper part of the neck. So let's go to the last one. And we're going to do this starting in the key of F. So we can put our first finger on the F. In fact, let's not even worry about the scale. Let's just go right to the interval. So we have one and two, we're gonna do the F. Then we go to two and three. The only thing you're plucking is the third and the first string. Back down. You're doing great. typical lick is to go from the one to the two and then the half step up to the three or right, maybe from the three down a half step to the two typical lick that you're going to hear a lot, especially in country sort of playing and in blues as well. So we've done it in the key of F. Let's do it in the key of G, shall we? So we move our first finger up to the key of G. We're going to go straight up and down just like we did before. Oh, sorry. Back down. I'm deliberately speeding up here. Okay, do it one more time. Let's do it in thirds. There you go. Can you go down in thirds? Down to the E, F sharp. D, E, C, D, B, C, A, G. Very good. There you go. Now, we had a question here. Don is saying, how can I transpose that from major to minor? Great question. All right, so let's say... You have to think of parallel keys. So if we were just doing G major, the relative minor in the key of uh, G major is E minor. So if I want to keep, make this sound in E minor, I throw a low E on the bottom of it, and I play the exact same thing I just did in the key of G. Maybe even can even start on the E, that'll make it sound a little bit more minor. to the open E. What if I added that open B in between them? All little tricks you can do. So it has to do with, you can switch any of these to the relative minor as well. There you go. There's a little bit of workout on the sixth. I hope you've enjoyed learning those. 
we've in the uh, PDF that I gave you, there's ways to harmonize a major scale or, or harmonize a melody like Happy Birthday. Here's another game that you can play is we're gonna let's do let's do maybe do the key of F and we're gonna jump between different forms. See what I did? I worked right up the scale, but I just jumped forms. Another game that you can play of jumping in between these forms. All right, I've taken you long enough. Work on it, spend some time practicing, and don't just go through it once. If you go through something once, you've conquered it, but you haven't really learned it yet. So when you go through it over and over again, really get it underneath your fingers to where you don't have to think about it anymore, that's when you know it. Okay, it's not just going through it once. Hey, I'm Steve Krenz for uh, Guitar Gathering. Thanks for joining us. We have these lessons on, I've got them on 6th. I'll, I'll put it in the link in the YouTube description down below. We have one on 3rds. We also have one on 10ths, the three main intervals that you need to know as a guitar player. I encourage you to get them underneath your fingers. Hey, I'm Steve Krenz for Guitar Gathering. Keep up the great work in your learning. We'll see you guys next time.